every AI app today runs on powerful models. GPT, Claude, Gemini, and more. And these models keep getting better. But here's the problem. The UX hasn't evolved alongside them. Most AI apps are still text-heavy with text in and text out. And as a developer, you've probably noticed there's user drop-off because of it. Text isn't the best way to interact with AI. Overwhelming, it's unintuitive, and it doesn't adapt to the user. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. That's where Thesis C1 comes in. C1 is an API middleware that augments LLMs to respond with interactive UIs in real time instead of text. When you're building AI apps, UI quickly becomes the bottleneck. Hard-coded components can't adapt to changing model outputs. Every new use case means updating layouts, props, and logic manually. Most developers fall back to plain chat interfaces because they're easy to ship, but they're painful to actually use. And when your model starts returning semi-structured data, you still need glue code to render it. In short, your UI can't keep up with your model. But that's exactly what C1 is built to solve. C1 solves this by acting as middleware between large language models and your frontend. It's a generative UI API that augments language models to respond with rich interactive interfaces in real time instead of plain text. C1 works with any large language model or MCP server and is compatible with UI frameworks like Versal AI SDK, Copilot Kit, and AGUI. It adapts seamlessly to any form factor while matching your brand's design system. For example, I sent in a prompt to show me a chart of the top five stocks outperforming the market this year with key trend lines. In this case with C1, you can see I got a more intuitive response. It's creating a graph. It has all the different trending market opportunities visualized with interactive elements. But with a regular AI app, I just got a textual output. And you can see it's not intuitive. It's not dynamic at all. It's just paragraphs of text, which is something users don't actually enjoy. Instead of just plain text, C1 delivers dynamic interfaces that visualize data, trends, and insights in real time. And it makes the AI outputs more actionable and intuitive for users. Before we get started, I want to mention you should subscribe to the Manu AGI channel. I'm constantly posting AI tool tutorials and coding guides on a weekly basis. This is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what's happening in the AI development space. Here's another example where C1 lets you create interactive, adaptive, and on-brand shopping agents directly in your app or website with no templates and no lock-in. And you can see how interactive these UI components look. The best part is you can try the API for free or you can simply try it out within the playground. It takes two steps to integrate C1 with your existing AI app. First, update the backend endpoint to point to thesis. Add your thesis API key and select a model like GPT, 5, or Claude. Next, install the SDK and update the app's logic to render and display interactive real-time responses seamlessly using C1. If you'd rather experiment first, you can spin up a test project with just one line. You can use the npx create C1 app command to create and test it out. How C1 works is actually pretty interesting. It starts with your backend sending model responses through the C1 API. Then C1 parses that data, applies system and UI rules, and emits a JSON-based UI schema which is streamed to the frontend where the C1 React SDK renders it in real time. The SDK handles streaming updates, error boundaries, state management, and callback wiring with custom React components. C1 also supports tool calls so your model can query APIs, databases or external connectors and render structured outputs automatically. This is a template they have readily available which showcases the generative UI app and how you can implement C1. First, make sure you have Git installed as well as Node.js. Then head to Thesis and sign up for a free account. The link is in the description below. Sign in with Google and you'll get up to 5 million free tokens to test with. Simply head to the Thesis console and generate an API key which you can do for free. For the demo, you can clone their example repository with the git clone command. Then navigate into the template with the cd command and install all dependencies with npm install. 
After setting your API key in the environment file, you can test it out using npm run dev. And there we go. This is how easy it is to get started with C1. So now we can experiment with this project. This app is a sales copilot that was built with Next.js as well as GPT. I can ask it questions and it will respond with interactive visualizations. Let me show you the difference between C1 and a regular AI app. Say if you send a prompt like show me the Q2 revenue by region into something like ChatGPT, you're only going to get simple text output. And you can see it's not intuitive. It's not dynamic at all. It's just paragraphs of text, which is something users don't actually enjoy. Now let's send the exact same prompt into our C1 powered app. The model is not going to just return paragraphs of text. This is where we're sending that same query with the C1 powered app. And this is where we're going to see better visualized data. You can see it's not just outputting text. There are interactive and dynamic charts like a pie chart showing revenue distribution by region. You also have a bar graph which you can actually interact with, hover over bars to see exact values, click to drill down into details. All of these elements are dynamic, which is something that makes C1 super impressive. But let's change that query up even further. I can ask it to break down the product category and trend over time. And you can see that C1 updates the chart layouts dynamically. Now instead of regional data, it's showing product categories with trend lines over different time periods. There's no manual UI changes, no hard-coded templates. It's all happening in real time based on what I asked for. That's the beauty of C1. It adapts to the query automatically. That is the capability of C1 by thesis. With C1, you can ship rich interactive AI apps 10 times faster and cut front-end maintenance costs by over 80%. That means better experiences for users, higher retention, faster dev cycles. I highly recommend you give this a try because they're offering up to 5 million free tokens if you sign up using the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some value from it. I'll leave all the links I used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there's a lot of content you'll truly benefit from. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you in the next one.